uh, its design pattern is structural design pattern is decorator pattern as the name suggests we need we, uh, in simple way we can understand if we are decorating something like that let me keep that in my mind the decorators allows you to modify an object dynamically uh, you would use it when you want to uh, capabilities of inheritance with subclasses but you need to add functionality at the runtime when we need to add the functionality at the runtime we are using this decorator design pattern it is more flexible than inheritance that's why we are using the decorator design pattern because it is more flexible than the inheritance uh, that is the main thing of this one and uh, it simplifies the codes because you are, you are adding the functionality using many simple uh, many simple classes uh, rather than rewrite the old code you can extend with the new code this pattern helps uh, helps to add more functionality to the existing object without changing the structure so the main aim of this decorator design pattern is we can add the more functionality to the existing object without changing the structure and uh, this is the simple example for uh, for what we are, what i had explained that one see pizza is the main uh, like um, main structure we can adding the functionality of pepper uh, pepi uh, sorry pepi paneer then farmers and all the different kinds of pizzas for that one as a functionality <laughs> see this is also the same thing same example we are adding the so many functionalities to the same structure without changing the structure so i, I took the same examples for this one i am getting the different types of pizzas and i am adding the toppings for that one and i am getting the cost of the pizzas um, for each and every pizza how many how much is going to cost for that one so in, in that case i implemented my code pizzas i am creating the interface of the pizza to get the description and the cost of the pizza sir i wrote the simple program for this one to uh, to get it very easily so for doing any pizza we need plain crust basically we need the plain crust to uh, to make the pizza for that one here i am using string to get the dough and i am using the double uh, to get the cost because double we can use because we can get the decimal point also in that one so I implemented in the public itself for the string i am getting the thin dough for the output and as well as the cost of the pizza and the topping decorator i am decorating uh, for the some of the pizzas like uh, see thin crust pizza and as well as thick crust pizza we can take and uh, thin uh, crust also we can take then uh, like uh, large pizza also we can implement over here uh, and uh, here i am getting the description of that one and the cost of that one of the topping then i am implemented after the uh, after the pizza the uh, means uh, base is done i am going to applying the cheese for that pizzas for each and every pizza what i am going to add see first i am adding the dough for that and after that i am adding the cheese on top of that after that i am adding the same thing as a tomato sauce same thing has been implemented for here i am implemented for the cheese itself and here i am implemented for the tomato sauce nothing changes in the code simply i need to modify here as the tomato sauce for the cheese for the cheese it is cheese and cheese uh, for the class itself i am calling the cheese it is extends to the topping decoder itself so tomato sauce also implemented then cheese also in implemented now i need to make the pizza for that one so i'm getting the simply output as ingredients what i have, uh, what i already mentioned before uh, to put on this one like cheese and tomato sauce and i'm getting the pizzas and the cost of the pizzas so this is my output see first i'm adding the dough for that one and i'm adding the cheese on top of that and i'm adding the sauce on top of that and the ingredients what i added at the last i am getting it as a descriptions after that i am getting the price of the uh, pizza so like this we can add them more functionality like uh, no i add cheese i can add jalapeno for that and i can add uh, mushroom for that i can add broccoli for that see the structure is same but, but i can add the more functionality to this one so this is the main uses of the decorator pattern this is all about decorator pattern yeah that's good sir yeah good well done man. yeah do you like to add any more points for this one sir and uh, no, i think this is simple and straightforward so it is decoration yes, uh, of uh, 
pizza is a very good example same way like you know when you are decorating a home or an office right so all individual uh, components you add it and uh, you can customize you will have a different vendors different places you can bring them from so that is the same concept so this is a very simplest uh, you know uh, design pattern and uh, this yes, is sir. used uh, uh, you know in many places and uh, you, you just need to think when you are doing the real time program and if such kind of use cases are coming so before you write down any class diagram or classes right you think about the design pattern so this is okay, very sir. important for a java programmer but uh, you know uh, you are learning it uh, so that is uh, good uh, added advantage for you uh, for qa guys yes sir yes sir shall i move on to the manual sir uh, what is the topic in manual testing uh, remaining concepts of sdlc model prototype model uh, then uh, another one model okay. derived model so uh, yesterday you covered waterfall and spiral waterfall then spiral model v and v model it's a big, big concept so i am going to upcoming with the next classes yeah you can continue. v and v i need that is half an hour time sir that's why yeah you can continue the other two topics now so next one is prototype model uh, basically uh, everyone knows that in the waterfall model spiral model uh, the models uh, like uh, customer can in waterfall model once after the requirement collection is freed freeze it uh, we can't change the requirement uh, so once after the software is there but if to overcome that uh, they went for the spiral model spiral model um, in between the models uh, we can add the new mod uh, oh, sorry once after the one module is completed it is uh, transferred i mean it is shown to the customer after the customer is okay with that one and we are going with the next i mean upcoming models like that uh, in that we can't add like um, in between the models like new software to overcome that we will go for vnv uh, vnv i am going to explain the upcoming classes uh, vnv also some of the drawbacks is there to overcome the drawback we will go for the prototype model prototype model uh, is the same as the waterfall model itself but we are going to add three new options over here so requirement collection is same feasibility is uh, study is same once after the feasibility study is done then they will design and develop a prototype model prototype model is nothing but a dummy model they are going to pro, uh, uh, means develop a dummy model for example if we want to construct a house so architecture will give that a dummy model like how the house is going to be how the house is going to be where the kitchen is there and how many square feet of bedroom is there like that uh, in software company same like that they are design and develop a dummy uh, dummy model to show to the customer how it is done after means how the software is uh, means after the software implementation how it's going to look for that one they are creating the dummy model for that once after the dummy model is created then they will uh, give that dummy model to the prototype testing if in prototype testing if the defect occurs again they will commit it to the design and development of the prototype they will going to correct the defect and again they will going to prototype testing once after the prototype testing is done then they will give to the customer to review that one whether what they want uh, means whether the requirement is good, um, whether uh, it is built according to the requirement or not once after the customer is satisfied with the result then they are going with the designing pattern so main uh, uh, c uh, amount to wastage means uh, waste of amount like once after the software is developed but we can't go to the design and development once again so in the earlier stage itself customer is getting to know how the software is going to look once after the software is I means thoroughly tested and customer also means uh, we are satisfied with the like what the development uh, what they are developed in the software company uh, they are satisfied with that means they are going to uh, do the design coding testing installation and maintenance uh, maintenance in that stage so if the customer is only satisfied with that means they can't cancel the project so it is a plus point for the company so if the customer once
after the prototype design is done means dummy model is done and customer if the customer wants to modify something they can modify in the earlier stage itself means in the dummy model itself they can uh, they can modify it. if they find the defects also uh, in the earlier stage itself we can connect through with the help of the dummy model see once after the original software is developed it is highly impossible to change means we can but it is it is it takes more amount of cost and more amount of times for the software company to change the requirements to delete add modify it, and to identify and to fix the defects for that one by using the dummy model we can like reduce the uh, amount expenditure also and uh, main thing is in the earlier stage itself customer will get to know how the software will look and how the software will work so this is the main aim of the prototype uh, design model this is the difference between prototype testing and actual final testing this is very important questions uh, as per the interview questions see prototype testing testing done to check whether the customer given requirements is present in the prototype or dummy model uh, page is called as prototype testing then actual testing or final testing means testing the functionality of an application by entering all the possible inputs to the software to find the defects in the software according to the customer requirement specification or not it is called as actual testing see here by using the dummy model we are uh, uh, showing that the we are so we are testing the prototype testing actual testing means for the updated means for the ready software we are giving some inputs to that whether uh, to check whether the software is working as per the requirement or not that is the difference and drawback of prototype testing is total time taken is more then the total investment is i then there will be delay in releasing the software to the customer by showing the dummy model to the customer then customer need to look after the dummy model and customer need to if there is any modification they need to modify it then they, if there is any defect then we need to fix the defects so the all this process the software releasing to the customer is will be delay so this is the drawback of the prototype model advantages means software quality will be good in the earlier stage itself we are testing means the software quality will be good requirement changes are allowed because in the earlier stage itself requirement changes are, uh, has been done then customer will get to know how the software looks in the earlier stage itself easy to handle the requirement changes because if if you want to change the requirement means in the earlier stage itself we are changing the requirements so easy to handle the requirement changes and we can set i expectation for the customers i expectations means if um, we can suggest something uh, to add to delete from the application we can only as a test engineer as a developer we can only uh, suggest something to add and something to delete and by showing the dummy model we can um, means we can create the i expectation for the customer by showing the dummy model of a mobile we can create a i expectation for the customer like that only here also same thing is going on and there will be a very good communication between customer and developer so that so that customer developers can develop the software according to the customer means see the customer given the requirement and developer will develop the software so uh, if we talk with the customer only means developer get easy to develop the software according to the customer requirement so this is also one of the advantages so let me move on to the what kind of project or application we will go for prototype model when the customer is new to business see when the customer don't know how to means the customer is good with the product based company like um, for selling and all they know but software you don't have any knowledge so when the customer is new to business we can uh, we can provide the prototype model it means we can go through the go through with the prototype model when customer is not aware of complete requirement Yes. we can give uh, customer give some uh, for example customer gives 60% of requirements see i want this uh, software like this uh, and all developer as per the developer knowledge he can implement another 20% for the test engineer knowledge he can implement another 10% manager he can implement another 10% for example i am telling so the customer is not aware of complete requirement then we are going for the prototype model when developers are new to that domain then we are going through the prototype model then another next model we sir uh, could you sir could you suggest anything about this one or could you like to add anything i know i think it is good a good explanation 
ओके सर सो नेक्स्ट मॉडल इज यस सर सो नेक्स्ट मॉडल इज डिराइवड मॉडल here we take the one of the basic models uh, like i already showed you like six fla six flavors like waterfall model derived model v and v model spiral model here we will take one model for example let me take a waterfall model here i took the example as waterfall model and here i am taking the one basic model one single model and i am modifying means i am change the model as per the customer business requirement i can modify this one as per the customer requirement then we can choose the derived model see here we can take one basic model means one single model and we can change the model as per the customer business requirement or as per the company standard type of model it is called as derived model for example see in waterfall model i explained explained once after the requirement collection is done the requirement get, uh, goes to freezed so we can change the requirement see by using the derived model we can change the requirement requirement changes can be allowed see we are taking the same model but we are modifying it so basic uh, basic basic theme of this uh, derived model is we can take any model but we can modify that same model as per the customer requirement we can customize it i suppose if we take one uh, like uh, for example if we take one dress one shirt we can modify the like pockets two to three pockets we can modify in the same way we can taking the waterfall model and we are modifying it see once after the feasibility study see requirement changes uh, uh, requirement changes not tested here the requirement changes we can test it designing the in waterfall model it is not tested we can test the design model also same thing in the spiral model also we can do that one as per the customer requirement this is all about derived model and uh, agile model we need to complete white box testing black box testing for that uh, for that one so i'm uh, in upcoming classes i'm going to explain tomorrow topic is uh, vnb model and as well as uh, white box testing so this is all about the sdlc model uh, one model is there sir so i'm uh, going to cover it in, in upcoming classes okay, good yeah keep it up man thank you sir